All right, as much as we may hate to admit it, a lot of us are, in fact, addicted to technology, specifically our smartphones. It also includes our iPads and laptops. Studies now even calling technology addiction a 21st century disease. But the question does remain, how much is this disease actually affecting our daily lives. Joining me now is author Steve Fogel, who wrote the book, and he has it right there in his hands right there. Your mind is what your brain does for a living. Learn how to make it work for you. Now, Stephen, uh, the question is, uh, right off the bat, how obsessed is this world now to the technology? Uh, we are just inundated with it. Uh, but, uh, there's a commercial I saw last night running where a father is taking his child to something like Disneyland or some other resort. Uh, they're separated by about 15 feet. The daughter texts the father, gee, it's a great vacation. It's not even like, hey, Dad, I love you. It's just a text. Yeah, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing. You know, I've, I've seen people sitting at a dinner table just with their faces down, not even communicating the entire time. Well, we all have a voice in our head, whether we're aware of it or not. And the voice in our head has uh, one purpose, and that's to keep us safe. It's survival. So um, in the World War II movies, we saw those radar machines that were always spinning around looking for it incoming bogeys. So the voice in our head is looking for incoming bogeys constantly. So now the incoming bogey is from our cell phone, from our texts. So uh, it is, we are always thinking ahead. Whenever that voice in your head is on, you are either thinking of something in the past or something in the future. You are absolutely never in the now. So the problem is, is we don't get a chance to really breathe. We don't get a chance to enjoy our life. A constant barrage. Yes. What, what are some of these signs? If you know, people at home worried about this, what are the signs of the addiction? Uh, your arm starts hurting from going in your pocket 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about your neck, too, like staring down at that thing? Yeah. It, 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 we just see it constantly. And, and one of the things is, is we have less and less peace of mind. Yeah, and so the suggestion is, how about just putting those things down for a while and communicating, right? Yeah, but you have to work at it. There is, uh, in the human anatomy, we have something called a basal ganglia, which is way down towards the spine. And that does habit. And we all know that expression, you could, you know, a chicken with its head cut off. Literally, humans have that ability, too. So it's that constant thing in our basal ganglia telling us, look, look, look. And we have to train ourselves not to. We have to be mindful about it, which means we have to start getting unattached to what we're worrying about. All right, Stephen Vogel, appreciate your time, man. Good Thank luck with you. the book. Thanks for Thank your insight. You. Natalie, over to you.